Cephalohematoma in newborns is a common condition in which a small pool of blood develops into a mass just underneath the baby's scalp outside the skull. This is a head injury that occurs while the baby is being born. Cephalohematomas are caused when the pressure during vaginal childbirth ruptures very small blood vessels in the scalp, causing blood to collect into a pool which forms into a benign mass. Cephalohematomas are a very common result of the labor and delivery process, and they are rarely serious. Approximately two out of every 100 babies develop a cephalohematoma after birth. This often occurs with a large baby, a prolonged delivery, or if the baby's presentation is unusual, such as sunny side up. Or other complications require the use of forceps or vacuums. The hallmark symptom of a cephalohematoma is a protrusion or bulge in the back of a baby's head which forms soon after birth. You will usually notice this bulge within 12 hours of childbirth. What parents see is a baby with a bump on her scalp. At first the bulge, which is the pool of internal blood, will feel soft to the touch. Gradually the pooled blood under the scalp will begin to calcify and the bulge will get harder and denser. How is cephalohematoma diagnosed? Typically, it is a parent or healthcare provider simply noticing what is often a pretty obvious bulge. An x-ray, CT scan, or ultrasound can confirm a cephalohematoma diagnosis. A CT scan is an excellent means of ruling out a more serious type of brain bleed, but typically more advanced testing is simply not necessary. Cephalohematoma itself is usually a harmless condition that goes away without any treatment in a few days. In some cases, however, cephalohematoma can lead to other health complications. 